hitters are going to be missing. So this is what they're going to target a win here. An early opportunity from excellent field position to try and get something off this first phase attack from line out and they go straight into midfield. Morgan Williams tries to get his side moving. Oh, it's beautiful hands, real open here, over up on the outside. Simple switch from in to out and cantering in is the four times capped. I beg your pardon, Harry Deves it is in fact on that open side flying for the Ospreys this afternoon and they just cut that Zebra Parma defence. He's had his injury problems this season but he's always so dynamic. And here's our try score, Harry Deves cutting inside. All Ospreys in the opening five or six minutes and they've got numbers to the left here again. It needs to go through the hands and they don't need to even break sweat it seems. Tian Thomas Wheeler is in and we've had two tries inside the opening five and a half minutes. Important that Rivaldi, yes, maybe just goes on the banker to the front. And now it's coming back from Kvezic to Cook. Assessing the options, oh that's nice from Tommaso. Body and all the way out, ripping pass, and it should be a counter in over on that far side for Kobus Van Vick, and it is. And as I said, from the first real decent solid platform in terms of the set piece on the left hand side, they work at the full width of the pitch. Not a lot of support around Lorenzo Pani, but it arrives just in time from Cook. Now, can they straighten and put it through the hands? Commit those Ospreys defenders and force the space outside. Look at that from a bust from the number eight, straight through. Diana Fox Matamua, he didn't need anybody outside him in the end. The Ospreys not off defensively. I'm loving their ambition for their counter-attack play. As soon as they get that ball, they're looking to spread it. But then they've got those big pool carriers that can take that direct line. Sperno into the line from that second row and well able to carry that pace and power. And Franco Smith now. Options again, oh lovely little pop back inside, can they get the offload away? A second try in quick succession for that man. Tana Fox, Matamu have brilliantly done through the second row's hand to keep the ball alive. Most praise have conceded a penalty advantage here. Oh, that's nicely done out of the back of the hands from the scrum half and in they go. Luca Adriani poised in that wide channel. Bradley Davies over the top almost. Jan Ice, who's come into that second row for Zebra Parma. Meter by meter, there is Morris. Can he go on the red, on the reach? And yes, he can. Stretches out that right arm, protects the ball, dives for the line. And Morgan Morris, could that yet prove a big score for the Osprey? Deep they go again. The call, the communication seems to be better this time. Morris side to Giles, oh, he slips the first tackle, gets his offload away, back inside, queuing up now in big numbers, oh that's brilliant, really really well done. Well, they make that look easy but it's not, it's really good from Keelan Giles. To Toy, this has been working well, this time Bradley Davies goes up and they do challenge, does that leave a gap on the ground? Ball has been spilled out the back. What's the decision here? It's full time whistle from Owen Cross. They can't eke out one final opportunity from the line out, and the decision in the end to compete in the air has worked out in the Ospreys' favour. The Zebra pack of forwards can't hold on to the ball, and the opportunity slips away.